Maybe I'm, maybe I'm making a terrible mistake. This is all the black betty we have in the building. So if, if this isn't it, then it, it's gonna have to be it. Let's just spray it. Let's just walk away and spray it. Right here is my Audi RS6 Avant. And if you've been on this channel for any period of time, you know that I absolutely love this car. And when it comes to dipping the car, I freak out and get super paranoid about which color I'm gonna dip it for a week or two. And I change my mind a hundred times. Today, what I wanna do is mix up a dark, sinister looking purple for this car. I think that's gonna look awesome. Gabe is here with me as always. And what I have here are our three Solid, true purple pearls. We have Plum Crazy, Grape Soda, and HKS. My plan here is to mix one of these pearls with a specific amount of Black Betty to darken it, to make it more aggressive, and we don't know which color we wanna use. So we're gonna discuss this on camera with you guys and figure it out. Now, right off the bat, I would say that there's an obvious distinction between two of these colors versus the third. Does that make sense? The HKS stands out against the Plum Crazy and the Grape. Definitely does. Is, this, is it me or are these two looking way more magenta than this? They do. Now the question is, because I do like grape soda. I've seen it on cars before and it's gorgeous. Even if it is a little bit magenta looking or at least compared or side by side to the HKS, will the Black Betty going into it cancel that? It could. Only other thing I'm worried about is sometimes you mix two pearls, different sizes, they can cause a little bit of patchiness. Well, Black Betty tends to mix in with everything pretty well. It's like a universal blender almost. It's almost more of a powdered pigment than it is a a pearl, my gut is telling me to go with either HKS or grape soda with, we have no idea how much Black Betty in. And I don't wanna put just a little bit, like I want it to be a dark purple. I mean, between the two, let me show you guys what each one looks like in powder form. So this is grape soda. See, it does look a little bit magenta. Is it, am I bugging out? And here's HKS. It's more purpley. Definitely. Look at them side by side, dude. I think we just go HKS. I agree. HKS and Black Betty. Now, again, you guys know me. I like matte finishes. I actually prefer them for my own personal cars. I think they're more aggressive. I think they're more unique looking. And I will tell you right now, matte top coat is a underutilized, undervalued, underestimated, non-mixed gallon that should be on way more dipped cars. Not only does it give you a clean, beautiful, like, not satin sheen, but it's not like a dry mat. It's got a wonderful sheen to it. But it lays down so much easier, smoother, and flatter than the glossy top coat. It's amazing to me that more DIY customers don't use it. And I think they don't, A, because we barely use it on videos, which I will take full responsibility for. And B, they just, everyone's kind of drawn to gloss. So, HKS. Do we need more bags of this? I think we do. Thank you, sir. Okay. Pigment load, any guesses? Maybe 50 HKS, 25 Black Betty. You think that's gonna be enough, Black Betty? We'll have to see, stick of truth. Yeah. I don't wanna kill, what did you say again? I wasn't paying attention, how many? 50. 50. I don't wanna kill the saturation and the color of the HKS, but I want a dark purple. And you know how it is. We always think we put in enough Black Betty and then when it dries, it's like, crap, we could have gone darker. So here is HKS Purple. See the matte top, it does have 
a reduced clarity over the gloss, of course, which is like water clear, but I'm telling you, you guys, I'm telling you, sleeping on the matte top coat. Okay, Black Betty, 25 to start. This is gonna be tough because we're gonna be judging it. Let me show them Stick of Truth HKS on its own. Okay, gorgeous, rich. Yeah, this was the right color. This was definitely the right color. All right, Black Betty going in, 25 grams. We'll have to see how much this changes. I don't see that much, dude. It's still getting mixed in. I think we're gonna need 50. I brought 75 grams. It's definitely darkened up. You wanted it dark. Yeah, I want dark. All right, here's 50-50 split, HKS and Black Betty. I want a angry, nightmare-inducing, aggressive-looking purple that makes people literally run in the other direction because it's so terrifying. All right, here's where we are after a 50-50 split of Black Betty and HKS. I wanna go darker, dude. So maybe half of that last bag? Or all of it? We still haven't shredded it. Oh no. You know, sometimes you gotta just go for it. I want to look at the car where it's like in low light, it's it's not black, but it's like pretty freaking dark. And then when the light hits it, it's like, oh, it's it's a beautiful purple. I'm really happy one with HKS though, I'll tell you that. All right. Here is a 75 gram to 50 gram mix of H of Black Betty to HKS. I think it looks pretty good. You think so? You don't think that's too saturated? Too purple? Run with that? I would, I'd run with it. I would never be this specific and picky over any other car. It's just once we spray it and I get it outside, I'm gonna either be like, this was, we nailed it, or F, I wish we put more Black Betty in it. What does your gut say? I like it because you're not overpowering the purple right now. It's still dark, you're still seeing purple, and it's aggressive. We're gonna go with Gabe's gut. We're gonna put trust in him. Let's go. A few moments later. I'm sorry. We started mixing it. I started eyeballing it. I've just been staring at it. I have to drop one more bag in. At least this way, if it's too dark, it's my fault. The other way, if it's not dark enough, it's your fault. I'd rather have it be my fault. I wanted a, I'm envisioning a dark purple. <laughs> maybe I'm, maybe I'm making a terrible mistake. Well, that was a terrible mistake, but. You know, this is just how it goes sometimes. We, we just push through. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna put any more. I'm not gonna put any more. All right, this is the final. That's the final, right? Did it even do anything? All right, this is happy medium. I can't go further than this, right? We can't. We cannot put more Black Betty in. A few moments later. I don't even think there's anything to say. We just, there's just nothing to say. We're going, we're going off the deep end here. This is also one of the messiest mixes we've ever done. There's Black Betty everywhere. But it doesn't matter, right? It all comes down to how it looks on the car. Okay. Now we're at 
125 grams, right, of Black Betty to 50 grams of HKS. I mean, that's got to do it, right? Why? What? Right? Just a purple does, does that look fucking super purple to you? It's definitely getting darker. Every bag. This is all the black betty we have in the building, so if, if this isn't it, then it, it's going to have to be it. This is now 150 grams of black betty to 50 grams of HKS. This is going to be like the highest viscosity dip we've ever This is so much pearl. This is 200 grams of pearl. Thankfully, we're cutting this with another gallon of matte top coat. I, I, I don't even know what we're doing right now. This is going to cover so fast, though. This is it. This is the final. Okay? That's it. Let's just spray it. Let's just walk away and spray it. All right, guys, we're all done with the project. It's the next day. Gabe's breaking it down right now. I know that the mixing portion was tough to watch. I'm sorry you had to see that. I was just so genuinely concerned about the color not coming out dark enough. So many times have we put Black Betty into a color thinking it's going to be this super dark, midnight, menacing color, and it's just mid-tone. And I knew if the purple ended up being mid-tone and just regular, I was gonna be so bummed out. So we ended up putting in, I think, 150 grams of Black Betty to the 50 grams of HKS. And that ratio sounds crazy. But the good thing is, it came out perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I could not be happier. It's dark, it's menacing, it's still plenty purple, plenty of saturation exactly where you want it. All of that neurotic, paranoid thought process paid off. This is what happens when I dip my own car. I really, just like you guys, I really want it to come out the way that I want it to. So I'm just like anybody else when I do my own projects. Anyway, we're going to take it outside right now. And I want you guys to take a look and let me know what you think. Leave a comment below and rate this color in the comment section one through five. One, you think we missed it completely. Five, you love it just like I do. Teaser or spoiler. I'm giving this one a five. I don't care. If you want to dip your own car, click right up here. We have a ton of different kits to choose from. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had a ton of fun on this project, even though it got a little bit nerve-wracking. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>